What's good Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji and today I want to talk to you guys because there is great news out there. The Las Vegas Raiders have signed a new safety and this safety is going to be a starting safety for us. And that's Demarius Randall, formerly of the Cleveland Browns and before that of the Green Bay Packers. Now I'm very excited about this pick because honestly, we do not have another safety starting alongside Jonathan Abram. And as any Raider fan knows, especially the diehard ones that are into the team the way I am, and I know a lot of you guys are out there, we don't have that difference maker, that playmate, that guy that can go out there and get interceptions, get some fumbles, and get those turnovers to help the offense out. We haven't had that. We didn't have that last year, and our defense really struggled. Well, Demarius Randall signed a one-year $3.25 million deal, which is a great deal because he will most likely well outperform that contract. But the benefit of bringing him in is in his five-year career, four times he's had at least four interceptions. Well, exactly four interceptions in those years. So think about that. In five years, Randall has 16 interceptions. That's probably more interceptions than everyone else that's going to start for us combined. Randall's a very talented player when it comes to coverage. He understands the game. He knows how to make his proper reads. And it just made a lot of sense to bring him in. Now, earlier on in the offseason, the Raiders were interested in Randall. Now, of course, at that time, it didn't pan out. But it looks like he did want to play in Las Vegas. And he will be playing in Las Vegas. I'm super excited about bringing in Randall because he is such a solid player and he does get those interceptions. Now, statistically looking at it, 16 interceptions in five years, but more than those 16 interceptions, he's also got his hands on the ball 35 times. So uh, the guy's a good player. He's going to be a playmaker for the Raiders. I heard a lot of people talking about how he'll be the free safety and Jonathan Abram will be the strong safety, but the Raiders don't play the true free and strong role. In the Paul Gunther defense, as you guys know, Paul Gunther does a split safety look. So we will never have a true free and a true strong safety. It just won't happen. Now, of course, there'll be plays where Abram comes up in the box and Randall goes over the top. Vice versa, Randall comes in the box and Abram goes over the top. And again, that's just how Paul Gunther likes to run his system and his scheme. Nothing wrong with that. Moving forward to the other news. The Eli Apple contract fell through, which is kind of shocking to me. And I know a lot of fans were actually excited about that. But yesterday, news came out that Eli Apple and the Raiders couldn't come to terms. And it's kind of crazy because this is the fourth corner that the Raiders have missed on. And it honestly seems like it's the way we do our contracts. Now, Randall's contract doesn't, doesn't fall in that same boat of how we did our previous contracts. Uh, but basically, what the Raiders do when they draw their contracts up is they give two-year uh, guaranteed deals but it's a third year for the Raiders to keep that player or not players don't necessarily like those deals because in that third year they don't have the option if they don't perform on the first two years they can probably get nothing in that third year and then end up getting cut so LaMarcus Joyner's contract is a three-year deal but really after this year we can cut him and there's no cap hit because that's the way the contract was drawn up Randall only signed a one-year deal with us and it kind of gets me thinking that maybe the Raiders have backed off of giving those type of deal because By Byron Jones, we offered him the same exact money the Dolphins did, but he didn't like our deal. He didn't like the fact that the Raiders wanted to guarantee him money up front because in the later years, they might not have to pay him. And he didn't like that. And Chris Harris Jr., the same exact way, he didn't necessarily like that, right? He didn't want to not be paid all up front and only maybe one or two years in the back of the deal, and he doesn't get guaranteed any money, which means he can end up getting cut. So uh, instead of signing a three-year, two years guaranteed with the Raiders, he just signed a two-year deal with the Chargers. And that just made sense, right? Uh, but the Randall deal was only a one-year deal, which kind of got me thinking, maybe the Raiders did initially offer him two years with one year guaranteed, and then maybe that second year was a team option if they really wanted to keep him, but who knows, right? He ended up only signing a one-year deal. Again, great news. The Eli Apple contract fell through. I'm not as excited about it as I know some of you guys are because our cornerback position really needs work. We have Mullen, Nixon, Isaiah Johnson, Nevin Lawson. I think we have one or two other corners as well, but we don't really have a true starter opposite of Mullen. Now, people say Nevin Lawson is a true starter and he should be the starter, but I just don't have that confidence in him. You know, last year he couldn't beat out Daryl Worley, and I would rather have Worley than, than Nevin Lawson, but 
We don't know what's going to happen with Worley yet. Hopefully, he does come back. Of course, that'll be seen. Uh, Eli Apple probably wasn't a starter either, but he has played like a starter for the Saints, at least in one of his years. Um, but who knows what the Raiders will end up doing. I'm going to lean towards us drafting another corner, but I really like our secondary. I really like the defense in a whole of how it's kind of shaping up, right? Corey Littleton and Nick Kwiatkowski are known as players that can get their hands on the ball, get interceptions, and then Randall already has that experience, right? He already has been able to cause turnovers. He has 16 interceptions in five years. So we brought in at least three players that can cause turnovers. We brought in two other players, Carl Nassib and Malik Collins, who can also get after the quarterback and, and get those strip sacks and get those fumbles. Those five players right there are impact players, as opposed to players we didn't have last year. And then to take it another step, we didn't have Jonathan Abram last year. Besides week one, we did not have him. And Abram is a special, special player. He's going to be a playmaker for us as well. So when you look at the defense and hold, you got players like a PJ and Maurice who will take that third year leap, which uh, they should have taken the second year leap. Wasn't as great as I expected, but the third year leap should be better, especially for younger D tackles that are a little bit raw, especially players like PJ who are going to get better with experience. A brand new defensive coach, a defense co uh, line coach who was a defensive coordinator, right? Has a lot of experience, regarded as one of the best. He should be able to take those two guys as well as Max Crosby, Cleveland Farrell. Arden Key, potentially, uh, Carl Nassib, and, and Malik Collins. And get those guys, you know, rolling together, right? Get them all together, Jonathan Hankins. And then on that on that second group, we can still drop the linebacker. Kenneth Murray, Patrick Queen, Zach Bond, a couple other linebackers that are out there, Troy Dye, that the Raiders can target, right? Um, so, of course, we'll already have uh, Corey Littleton with uh, Kwiatkowski, and then maybe Nicholas Morrow. We did tender him, which means probably bring him back. Um so we already have three okay linebackers, two really good linebackers in my opinion, one okay linebacker in Morrow and potentially bring in another linebacker. I would bring in Murray if we can. I think he's going to be a difference maker. And then look at that secondary, right? Now you got Randall and Abram, a healthy Abram that is. You got Eric Harris and Jeff Heath coming in for depth. Uh, potentially one of those guys lining up in the slot when there's four or five receivers out there to help cover, right, in zone coverage or whatever it is. Uh, you got Mullen on one side. You got Nixon and Johnson, who, which who knows what they can be. You got Lawson, potentially bringing back Daryl Worley. Uh, LaMarcus Joyner playing the slot. I think our defense looks very, very good, and I'm really excited. And I do want to just show you guys something really quickly before I end this video. And I want to show you guys Randall because you're going to see him playing the free safety spot here. And, of course, he won't be doing this in Vegas, but... I do like the idea of having a safety who can track the ball in the air because that's an important concept of being able to intercept the ball. This is something Charles Woodson did all the time, right? You're going to see Carr here take a deep shot to his left and look at Randall track the ball, go up in the air and intercept the pass. That's a great play. And then look at all the yards he picks up after the interception. That right there is huge. And that's special because you take the ball from one side of the field to the opposite side of the field, right? He's going to intercept this ball at, what, the 30 to 25-ish yard line. Uh, but look at Randall in the deep middle and look at him just track the ball. That's beautiful right there. And again, uh, you guys do see the fact that he's going to return this for a bunch of yards. But I want to show you guys a couple more plays. Now, this isn't a full breakdown, just a couple of plays I want to show you guys uh, because I do think it's interesting to be able to watch a player like 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 Randall. All right, you guys, in this play, you're going to see Randall lined up right here, essentially in the slot, right? So uh, when I say he can play box safety in certain spots and certain times he will be playing box safety maybe abram will be the safety that's playing uh you know to deep like the safety back here but you see randall right there he's gonna follow this receiver he does a good job jumping the ball that big ben's gonna throw undercutting it and intercepting the pass very solid play again these are just some of the things that this guy can do he's young uh, he's fairly young right he's entering the sixth year it's it is just a one-year deal and uh, of course i would have preferred a two to three year deal because if he plays the way he should play he's gonna end up getting paid so um you know it is interesting to kind of see some of the things he does he's a playmaker he's a difference maker and i want to show you one last play you want to talk about a safety playing deep and not being scared and backing down from anyone you see randall playing deep towards the right of your screen Antonio Brown goes deep, Big Ben gives him the opportunity, 
Randall does not back down. He knows he can track the ball, and I love that catch right there. He runs backwards, and, and he's able to just catch it over the shoulder. It's a rainy day. These three plays that I just showed you guys show some of the things that Randall can do. It's impressive for me to watch him, and I think you guys should be impressed as well because of what he's going to bring to the Raiders secondary. It's going to be very, very important to have players like this. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.